Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you the beds that I have in my cargo camper conversion. Uh, if you haven't watched my other video where I go through the entire thing, um, I'll provide a link for that, so check that out. But this video I'm going to focus just on the beds. And excuse me if I'm slapping mosquitoes every once in a while during this video. But um, like I said in my other video, I use this trailer for hauling things as well as a camper. So I needed to make beds that could fold up and out of the way and be as as thin as possible to provide as much room as I could when they're up. So I'll go through how I built the hinges and, and the legs and everything. Uh, they're completely made from scratch out of one by one aluminum tube. Uh, the way I attached them was I just brought, bought some uh, 90 degree brackets from the hardware store and just screwed self-tapping screws into each corner. Uh, before you put the wood on, it's it's not the strongest. They're not going to hold that well. But once you screw the wood on top, it stif stiffens them right up and um, is plenty strong. I was able to find some tube ends from Amazon. Go right in the end so you don't have sharp ends. Got them in the legs as well. Those are pretty handy. And then to hold the bed up, just got some bungees in two spots. Got those off Amazon as well. And then uh, I have, right now I have two different hinge systems. So the bed on this side is what this one used to be like as well. I recently changed it, but this one, as you can see, it folds up super flat against the wall, only sticks, about, sticks out about an inch and a half. And then this one, I recently put on some hinges so that I'm able to fold it up with the pad on it. And I'll show you those up close as well. But while we're camping, we don't really ever fold them up. But I wanted to try this one in case uh, we wanted to fold up at least one. So um, you can see it's got the pad on it. This is just like a three inch thick memory foam from Amazon. I ordered a, like a queen size cut in half. One half fits on each side. Um, so this one folds up nicely against the wall like this. So you can do that while you're camping if you want to. So on this one, uh, the way I have it attached to hinge is I took a couple two by three pieces of aluminum, uh, drilled some large holes for clearance, and then these have self-tapping screws in holding them to the walls, um, to the studs inside the wall. And I did this so that the load from the bed is put down into the floor. So these are tight against the floor and then just mounted to the wall. So I, I didn't want to rely on the studs inside to hold you while you're on this bed. And then I bought some just angle aluminum, like two by one and a half, and just made some 90 degree brackets. And then just a quarter 20 bolt goes through there. And then those brackets are attached uh, two on each side to the frame. So I've got bungees at the top just to hold it up. And then I've got three legs for even support like that. And then just a sheet of three eighths th thick plywood on the top. And that's attached with just some countersick, countersunk self tappers. Um, the legs I needed, I wanted a little more support for those. Um, I used to have them bolted to this frame with brackets like that, but they stuck out farther. And then when I was using it for like hauling my snowmobile, I could catch on it. So I wanted to get them, um, you know, up against the wall more. So I ended up just drilling a hole right through the main frame and then just attach it with two and a half inch bolt. And then to hold it so that you don't kick it out, I just took some flat one inch wide, eighth inch thick aluminum put a Z-bend in it so that it will stay up like that and then come down. And then it just takes some D-pins like this and just hook it up. So I've got three spots like that. I've got more D-pins. Um, hook those up and then it fits like that. So you can see I've got an eight inch gap between the beds. And I did that because I wanted, I didn't want to have to crawl into the bed to get in. I wanted to be able to go up like this, sit down if want, if you needed. And then also in the morning, you can get up and walk out. Also might use this trailer with, uh, with a friend or somebody that you don't want to 
you sleep in the same bed with. So um, gives you a little bit of distance. So on this side, like I was saying, this bed hinges out. So when it folds up, it's not flat against the wall. And you can see I just bought some gate hinges just from the hardware store. And I've got three self tappers in each one. And these, this does go into the wall stud. So unlike this one, where I've got the bigger pieces of aluminum on the floor, this one is relying on the walls. And I, I think it's enough support. Um, and then it's hinged here, so it comes out. You can see the gap on the side there, and it gives room for the, for the mattress to fit in, like I showed before. I don't have leg supports on these ones yet, but I'll just do the same thing as over here. I did buy some like leg locking supports off the McMaster car, but they take some pretty precise geometry to get them to work, and I haven't quite gotten that down yet, but that might be an update in the future to get those uh, working. So. Uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, if you haven't seen my other videos on the full camper, and I also have another video of the electrical system, I'll provide links for that. But thanks for watching. Um, if you would hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. If you like this video and you want to see some more of my content. Uh, thanks and have a nice day.